Have you ever imagined sleeping with your own upside down nacho? Do you wish you could grab a long haired Australian and drink alcohol from their body? Maybe you're more interested in sitting on your imaginary underworld apostate's face, or just stomp into the curb for writing such horrendous lines. Nachos go great with beer. Now you can and more with these fantastic overpriced items from the great range on sale in Nacho's Underworld Market. Your nachos are always best with beer. Pick up your very own upside down pillow, throw an apostate on your stretch pants, or slap on some yaoi socks and just walk all over me. Your nachos always go best with beer. So grab Australian mug, wrap your lips around it, and suck dry those glorious liquids. Everything in stock is limited because I get bored and change it up all the time, so get yours now. As always, ensure to thoroughly beer your nacho. Go to teesprings.com slash door slash nachos underworld market to grab your very own nacho now. G'day everyone, The Nacho here for another Atheist Flashbacks. Today we have Osman Cometh. So I want to welcome you on to the channel again, I suppose you've been with us for fucking ages now. Uh, but for everyone who doesn't know you, uh, would you do us the solid and tell us who you are and what religion you used to be? Good day, everyone. My name is Osmond Cometh, and I used to be a Protestant Christian. And what is it that uh, you do, like, on YouTube now, or, you know, where can we find you? You can find me over at Osmond Cometh um, on my YouTube channel. That is most, uh, primarily going to be about gaming these days. Uh, that includes Dungeons & Dragons, creating maps, creating dungeons, of course. Um, and things of that nature but also we're going to be doing coding videos soon so we'll be delving into the very source code of how to build a webcam on the firmware side damn that's pretty cool okie doke so for those that don't know uh atheist flashbacks is basically where we will take a lovely atheist or former theist we you know it's more appropriate uh, through a flashback of their old life, and they get to relive it. And any time, uh, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, the host will question them on who they are and what they believe as their old self. Any time which they uh, stumble or fail or come back in disgrace in some way, that is where they have to drink. Whether it be alcoholic or not, doesn't really matter, as long as, you know, you play the game, that's all it's about. So... My first question is obviously, what are you drinking? Sorry about that. I had a microphone issue. I am drinking a very nice cold Forex beer. Ooh, nice. To be honest, nice so am I. I'll be honest, it's only a little bit better than VB. But it's Just better. So <laughs> the fact that it's better <laughs> is enough. <laughs> exactly, and, and let us not even and touch on Fosters. That's, yeah, I was just going to say they're both shit all over Fosters. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is where we're going to start the game. So from here on out, you're pretty much going to have to be who you used to be. You reckon you're ready? Oh boy. Oh, yes. <laughs> is there anything you wanted to say before we start? Let me just get a quick pre-drink because I know I'm going to fuck this up so badly. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, look, it's sort of the aim of the game to sort of lose it at some point. It's a bit of a torture device. Um, <laughs> but it's good fun. And, and yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's just good fun. What else? Well, it's a drinking game. What, you need any more reason? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is true. This is very much true. Did you have any... Um, uh, label, like pastor, priest, and do you get to anything like that when you were religious? Um, actually, I was a youth pastor, if the Americans would put it like that. Um, so this will be the second sorry, pastor I've had on. I mean, I know yeah. the uh, pa atheist pastor wasn't technically a pastor in his 
uh, in his time. But nonetheless, I'll take it as the second pastor and first proper pastor that I've had on. <laughs> unless I, unless Grey Skeptic was a pastor, and, and, and I only find this out later because these are pre-recorded, nonetheless, I'll, I'll still give you that. <laughs> But yeah, my age range was between 10 years of age and 15 years of age uh, for my youth group. Okay, okay. And was that when you were roughly that age as well, or...? Um, no, I was I was more along the lines of um, 17, 18. Okay, okay, cool. All right, are you ready to go back to then? <laughs> uh, yes, yes, I am. All right. Well, Ozzy, my first question is going to be, does your religion allow you to drink alcohol? It's heavily frowned upon. Okay. So, but the, you're, you're allowed to drink a little, or? Uh, we would urge uh, every single person not to drink alcohol. Um, Just not to drink, okay. No, because it does loosen the inhibitions, and it can lead to some very awkward situations. That's fair enough. Uh, is there any sort of specific specificity on um, being drunk or, like, an alcoholic or anything like that? If you were an alcoholic, which we've had a few, we would, um, we would strongly avoid alcohol around you and we will make sure um if the case is bad enough we would not invite you to, to that event knowing that you might relapse fair enough i mean that's relatively healthy way of uh of, of looking after those who do have a problem yeah I mean, um on one yeah. side we understand that it's socially isolating them i mean but we would prefer them to be away from the crowd and sober than in the crowd and legless. Yeah. Fair enough. So is it more of an image thing? Like you don't want them seen to... You know. um, I don't like to think of it like that, but yeah, down, down at the very bottom of it, yeah, it's an image thing. Okay. Fair enough. Um, so what exactly was it that led you to join your religion or was it something that you were born in, maybe? Uh, no, no. My my mother was a Catholic, a traditional Catholic, um, not Roman Catholic, I don't think so, just a traditional Australian Catholic. Um, I don't know her denomination to be exact, aside from that. Uh, but for me, it was, it was when I was in hospital, and I was, well, not hospital, I should, uh, shit. All right. First, drink on my behalf, because I screwed up. And then let's try and re-record that part. Uh, there's no re-record, my friend. There's no re-record. <laughs> <laughs> well, so cut it out and then do this bit. No, it's, no it's, it's just take a drink. That's all that is. All right, fair enough. Well, drink. And I've just had a drink. There we go. So, <laughs> where were you? Um, I was at high school, I should say. And I was getting bullied a lot. And I was getting rather down and depressed. And I reached out to my girlfriend at the time. And I asked her, hey, look, I'm getting really depressed. I need to get out of this house. I need to get away from all of this social crap is what I, I won't say the actual word that I use, but crap. Um, help me out here. And she brought me over to my local church which was a Salvation Army church. And I got introduced that way. Fair enough. I mean, that, that makes sense. So how regular did you, uh, do you, shit, I'll drink. How regular do you attend <laughs> church? Me, I attend every single weekend. Sometimes I attend during the week to help out with a volunteering. Oh, very nice. That's very charitable of you. I do my best to make sure other people are helped. Okay. So, um, what part would be your favorite about church or your worship? Uh, it, it's not so much being 
down on my knees and praying. It's more so setting up uh, the events and setting up um, the conferences and the pl playgrounds and things like that. So those that come in can have a relaxing time and be at peace and be able to speak with our God. Okay. That, that sounds actually rather serene and nice. Um, so what I'd like to do is sort of take us through a bit of what you believe uh, from the Bible stories themselves. Um, so it's not completely chronological, or it might be, and I don't realize, but I don't think it's completely chronological, but relatively. Um, <laughs> so I just want to ask you a few questions about, you know, what what you uh, what you believe with these stories. Every every denomination seems to have a slightly different understanding of them. So I like to ask everyone, what would your belief on the beginning be like when when exactly did that happen and explain your religion's creation story just a little oh that's something that i did not really take a lot of time in researching myself because i didn't really care i, I don't drink um drink Just as you I'm said, going about, to get so drink. drunk off of this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, not knowing is fine, as I said, uh, or I might have said that before we uh, started recording. But like, you cannot know. That's that's all right. Like, it's like I can't remember or whatever. That's all right. Um, no, no, no. It, it it's not that I didn't uh, don't know. It's that I didn't actually. Well, and I still don't up until now. Um, I didn't pay. I don't pay attention to the beginning. I pay attention to well, the that's now. That's fine, and that's not a drink. That's just an honest answer. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's all. That's all this is about. Like, I mean, you know, I mean, granted, what you are now is a bit less relevant at the moment. We're working on what you used to be, but just mm -hmm. we're going off memory. That's all we can do. That's <laughs> you know, it, it's yeah. a drinking game. Do you think we need it to be that <laughs> precisely? <laughs> I'm just making it all the more nervous. <laughs> I'm yeah. just all right. Well, there's, there's our there's our drink at least excuse because we've now gone on a tangent. So that drink you had before, right? You know yeah. that worked. But so you would say you're not you're not really too flu uh, aff fluent fluent. No, that's not right. Um, well versed <laughs> with the creation side of it, the actual creation story of it. That, that's right. I'm not very well versed in how how my religion uh, denomination was created. I'm more focusing on the now, focusing on how to do things right now. That's okay. So no, like, um, would you would you be able to say whether it was young Earth creation, like six thousand years, or anything like that? Ah, uh, most definitely. Um, our religion does focus on the scripture being of sufficient um truth. We do focus on the fact that uh, our Bible is the almost exactly the literal truth of God. Fair enough. Fair enough. Minus that's, a few translation good. issues here and there. there, there well, that, we do admit I mean, there are some translation issues. That'll probably help with the next few, in fact, because it'll probably help you just go like boom, boom, boom. boom you know, they're all pretty much literal stories and stuff. So we'll we'll go with the global fur. Global flood of Noah's time. Would you say that's literal and true? I do believe so. I do believe so. It's literal and true. Absolutely. Okay. What about the exodus from Egypt and the uh, ten plagues? Yes, definitely. Absolutely. I believe right. that. How do you take the story of Job? Funny enough, I have not done a lot of research into the story of Job. Okay, so Job was the the man who was so very faithful to God. He had any, he, and he was so well off because of how faithful he was. Uh, God blessed him in so many ways, and uh, Satan came along and said, "Look, God, I reckon if you took away all that cool stuff that you give Job, that he would become unfaithful and he would turn to me for help." And God was like, "You know what? I'm on. Oh, you're on. Sorry, I'll I'll take that." Um, and basically, yeah, he killed everybody in his family, 
left him completely with nothing and sick and dying to the point to there was pretty much no return until Satan was like, well, crap, I ha you know, he didn't, he didn't turn away and come to me. He, he stayed faithful. And so God won the bet and gave him a new family and knew everything. Like, is there, is there any sort of um, moral dilemma that comes to mind when you think of those stories? Oh, he's, of course, normally pronounced as very faithful. Like, he, he had such great faith that he got through all that and he got all the new stuff from God, of course. I'll take a well, drink if... for the way I explained all of that, too, by the way. That is so <laughs> not the way I should have told that story. <laughs> no, that, that that's okay, because I do remember that. I don't remember the full story of it all, but the way that you explained it helped me remember bits and pieces of Job in the Bible. And uh -huh. you know what? If it's in the Bible, I do believe it's true. Okay. No, that's fair. That's cool. And uh, uh, I, would, I wouldn't always do the full explanation there of Job. I know that's a bit more obscure compared to most of them, but I, I just thought it'd be interesting to still ask, so I wanted to push that. Yeah, that looks okay. What about the Gospels and the story of Jesus and his resurrection? Would you say that that is also all literal, and is was his resurrection a physical or spiritual resurrection? I do believe it was both. I believe truly that he did resurrect. Um, it took it took him three days because death is very hard to come back from. I do believe yeah, Jesus yeah, is the only person to be. come back from. Yep. So you know what? I do believe it was both spiritual and physical sense that he did get resurrected. Okay. All right. So that that's definitely a, a absolute. Yeah, now, I, I believe some... in the gospels. Yeah. No. Of course. This is this is the one where some people aren't too sure as well. Uh, so I don't blame you if you're not sure on this one. But what uh, do you think of the the revelations, uh, Bible book of revelations, and like the apocalypse, the rapture, things like that? How do your, uh, how do you view uh, those things? I believe that Jesus and our Holy Father has not. Uh, begun the rapture yet because he is still waiting on the right amount of people to believe in him I believe it will happen and I believe it will happen very soon how soon I don't know but he is looking for more warriors in his army okay so he's he's out he's out for more to help him with his righteous battle exactly okay no, that's fair enough, and and that's just something we're all kind of still looking forward to. Like not the acquiring more for the battle, but the the battle to happen. That's still yes, something sir. for the future. Yeah, of course, we got to get rid of the evil that's in, in in all of humanity. Okay, no, lovely. All right, well, we all that's you know pretty much start to end there, and some you know it's pretty basic. I could probably add a few more, but and eh, we like to stick with the big ones. I think Job's the only one that, you know, I threw in there as a curveball. Um so we're gonna we're gonna do a few different questions now. They're they're probably a little more serious, so we'll see how it goes. What does your religion or your God consider good or bad? Like what would be the worst or most unforgivable sin? I would believe, in my personal opinion, um that not sticking to your word and betraying that word is the most unforgivable sin. Betrayal. Yep. Okay. I mean, because ultimately that was the, the, the first sin by Satan. He betrayed God. Yeah, but that is, a, that is the original sin. Oh, I mean, of course, with humans as well. Yeah, I just yeah. I was just thinking... That's our, our human, the original sin for humans, yes. Well, the original sin for humans was Adam and Eve. Um, the, yeah, and that was the, a betrayal, the sin against... though, of bet That was a betrayal of trust from humans yes. over God. But, that, so. but that, that wasn't the original um, sin in terms of everything. It's just the original sin in terms of humans. The original sin in everything is the betrayal of God from, from Lucifer, Morningstar, against God. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But um, however, um, all sin mm -hmm. is mainly equal. A lot of sin is mainly equal. It's just we 
we as humans prioritize sins a little bit differently than he does our father above. Okay. I'll, I will definitely come to ask you a bit more about that soon. Don't get me wrong. Um, so this is, this is going to be a bit of a odd one, but this is question 42. What is the meaning of life? <sighs> the nerd in me thanks you for that. 42. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I say that, so that people can't just go 42. It's like, I've already said it, bitch. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Um, 42. That That is rather comical. Um, I wanted to do that so bad. I think you're going to um, have to have a drink for that, though. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what, what would be the meaning of life, according to your uh, a religious belief? It is to find God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, to confess your sins, to be washed within their blood, and to be uh, redeemed from your own sin, and to dedicate yourself not to them, even though that is what is going to happen, but to being as sin-free and wholesome as you can in life, reflecting the promise of what God um, gave to us humans. Wow. I mean, that's pretty deep, dude. That's pretty mm. cool. That's a good answer. Basically, I mean, I, he I, promised... I, Sorry, go ahead. No, I was going to say, I've got nothing else. I'm literally like, that was a good answer. <laughs> well, it, it's all about God gave us... God healed us and gave us mirac um, miracles so that he can care for us. And all that he is asking for is love in return and to take care of ourselves, not to give in to our urges, which, temptations, let's be honest, uh, all temptations, around us. Yeah, it's all around us and everything we look at. And you know what? That's, that's the devil. That, that's the devil pushing it in there. So we've just got to be good to ourselves and love him above and we should be fine. Fair enough. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Um, okay, so what would be your favorite or least favorite or both, uh, whichever you feel like, Bible story or book of the Bible? Hmm. This is a junior uh, Bible story that I believe. Uh, hey, I'm... Doesn't matter what one it is, go for it. Exactly. Um, it was where I might be getting a few details wrong because it's been well over 25 years since I've read the book. Um, but there were these three people who you were... bad Christian you. <laughs> yes, I know. I didn't read a junior book for over 25 years. <laughs> Drink! <laughs> um, I'll grant you. Yeah, yeah. there were these three people that professed their belief in Jesus being the resurrected son of God. And so this king decided to test that. He had a pit of fire and lions and snakes. And he threw each one in with a different... Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Wait, what? I'm pretty sure that's who you're talking about. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They, they were tested by the king or the pharaoh or whoever and they were thrown into a pit of fire and all this stuff and they survived by the angel's glory exactly that that is the exact story one was on snakes he didn't get bitten and he walked out unharmed the other one was on fire uh he didn't get harmed or singed or anything and he walked out the other was with lions he was laying next to the lions perfectly fine yep Pretty sure that was it. Because the only other story similar to that one that I always think of is the Daniel story, because he was thrown into a pit as well. And I was like, hit mm. a lions for a weekend or something, and he was fine. Um, but I always remember Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, because my old man would always use that to send us to bed. Like, Shadrach, Meshach, and to bed you go. Mm. I don't know. The audience might get a giggle. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it right. basically reinforced our strength, basically, to have faith and strength in God, and we'd be fine, yep. no matter and no, no I, matter tribulation. I'll agree with you. And, I mean, if I'd put, been put on the spot, I'd probably forget their names as well, but that's one story that I always remembered, and um, uh, uh, 
I felt a bit of a connection to as well, actually. It wasn't the most well-known story, too, and I like things like that. They're not like the big, you know, everyone knows that story. Um, yeah, no, sweet. I, I would take a drink. I'm, I'm out of beer, though. So what I'm going to do is ask you the next question and let you sort of lead on for a second. I'll be like five seconds. I won't really miss much. Mm-hmm. So what would it take to be seen as good in your God's eyes or get to heaven? To get to heaven, all you need to do is believe in him. He who has been resurrected by the power of God and the heavenly father and to be seen as good in his eyes. Love yourself and love others as you love yourself. Treat those beside you as good as yourself and to treat yourself as good overall. It's not given to temptation or evil or wrong. Fair enough. I did catch most of that too, which was good. I mean, for the most part, it's sort of like the the basic commandment sort of stuff. Like, not the the first one, or the, the the ones that Jesus was like, be all about love people, be good to yourself, be good to others, and sort of stuff. Hmm. All right. Um. I lost myself. Where was my question? There is my question. So. Are there any things within your religion that you'd sort of, you'd, or not even, no, sorry, I'll rephrase that. Are there any things that you'd really want to do, but uh, within your religion is frowned upon or you can't do, uh, even though everyone else kind of can, like that aren't within the religion? I really, really just want to sit down and have a nice, solid drink. I'm not talking about the four four X beer that I've got in my hand right now. Drink. Yeah, that's a, that's uh, a bit of a break. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm talking about a nice hard rum, just something to experience the different in life. No, we we are pretty straightforward. We we even try and push away from things like caffeine as much as possible. That's pretty intense, admittedly. <clears throat> okay so Sorry, what on. about yeah I, I figured there was something to it there but what about um media is there any restrictions on the media that you consume well we try and avoid propagandist media as much as proper as much as uh humanly possible we for some, I don't know why, but my superiors don't like governmental media as much. Don't know why. What, like uh, ABC or? Yeah, like like ABC or, you know, the media with a massive agenda that can be seen from a mile away. Well, that could be almost anything, but I suppose that would. Yeah. I also mean like movies, music things like that like is there anything that's restricted in terms of movies and things like that we try and avoid fantasy like harry potter or fantastic beasts and where to find them uh we also try and avoid um anything with the word sorcerer or wizard or things in there Mm. um we try and avoid a lot of things even a lot of military movies we try and avoid it we 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 don't want to scare our young it could be quite taxing. Yeah, no, it, well, there are, and there's a lot of uh, uh, evil in um, in that sort of popular culture. There is. I mean, war in of itself is very disturbing. Um, so, a bit of a segue. What, well, it's not even a segue. I'm just seg- using segue as a segue. Segue. <laughs> have, you ever, <laughs> have you ever felt any doubt about your faith and if so why like what caused it a few bits of doubt yes um i know this is silly but i am a very hopeful person but not being able to save everyone that you meet that's one of my doubts yeah i want to save everyone i want to help everyone but sometimes you just have to turn your head. Yeah. And I mean, it 
it, it's like some people are already too far gone or something like not to say there's a too far gone but their uh their their convictions are set like their heart is set you know yeah their heart is stone and it's one of those things where you have to leave it up to god to help them exactly i'd, I'd assume yeah Okay. There's only um, so much the human, um, the human mind and what it can do. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um. Okay. So, uh, it, when you, I assume you sort of go about trying to bring people into the religion. Is it something you've ever done where you've converted someone into your belief system? Not yet. I haven't. <laughs> And that sounds so bad of me as a pastor, but I know, no, I, I haven't. Know you're, yeah, I know where you're coming from, but fair enough, fair enough. You're working hard at it, like it's it'll happen. Yeah, it'll happen eventually. <laughs> I, I always get that little nudge, nudge on the side, always just whispering. So when are you going to get some people in? Uh, yeah. I'm like, hey, soon. You're doing your best. <laughs> so what what is your view on uh, atheists? Oh, that is that is a loaded question. <laughs> oh. hey, how is that loaded? That's an open question. What is your view on atheists? <laughs> can I say comment reserved? <laughs> you absolutely can. <laughs> uh, yeah, comment reserved. <laughs> okay, no, that's fair enough. What is your view on apostates? I... Mm. I don't have an answer to that one. That's fair enough. So there's the, you don't know an official position? No. Um, I, I try and align myself to my superiors as much as possible. Um, doesn't always work, though. No, that's, that's fair enough. Um, what about science in the scientific community? Well, like, is, as, as... is science something that's still, like, an acceptable thing eh. yes no there's a lot of Same science that wants to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's a lot of science that wants to disprove the god by simply stating the facts mm -hmm. or no, what they consider true. to be facts <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Drink. No, I could, that's fair I, enough. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't stay angry. <laughs> that's that's also fair enough. I'm breaking. I'm breaking. That's you know part of the fun. So, all right. If you were to try and convert me as an I am an atheist at the moment, how would you go about it? Or by convert, I do mean just try and bring me into your belief. You know what I mean? Like, you're, you're, okay. We'll, we'll count this with the last time you haven't finished breaking. So I'll let you finish. <laughs> Get it out if you need to, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. That just broke me all over again. <laughs> no, no, no. You can, you can keep it with the last one because trust me, you're going to want to maintain your drink. You've got a lot to get through yet. Okay, off the recording. <laughs> no, that's not going to happen. You're just going to have to push through. What are you telling me? There is literally nothing I can say or do to make you convert. Ever. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, is that... But would that be your opinion then? That That would be... Me having a drink. Fair enough. And then tell me what your opinion then would be. I, I, I'd have to ask my superior to help me out here, uh, because I don't know. That's a fine answer. There's nothing wrong with saying you don't know. Look, I didn't. I, I, I didn't go far as a J-Dub. There's a lot of things I don't know. You know? That's fine. That's that's perfectly fine. That doesn't make you a bad Christian. 
So <laughs> we'll jump to the next one, shall we? Um, okay. Would you say that God is omniscient, which means he knows all the future, the past, all the memories, everything? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's a positive. Absolutely positively. There we go. W would you say, do we have free will or are we pr our lives predetermined? That requires a bit of an explanation. He has oh. the power to see everything and to know everything. Yes. However, knowing is different to action. So he may know all of the choices. But he lets us choose. Okay. So free will. So it's it's free will, but he sort of... Would, would, but would he, but does he know what's coming though? Like, even though he leaves it up to us, does he know what we're going to choose? He knows so the answer. It's all part of his plan, is it not? Like, this is all part of God's plan. Yes, yes, it's all part of his plan. But I do believe he knows the answers. I, I do believe he knows what we're going to decide. He just doesn't want to have an influence on how we decide it or why we decide it. Okay. No, that's fair enough. So, I suppose, does that kind of mean, like, so he knows what's going to happen anyway, though. We can agree on that, even though he mm -hmm. leaves it up to us. Yeah. Does it mean that, does that mean that, like, the, you know... I don't know, let's let's say like a massacre happens. Would that be part of his plan? Would that all have been predetermined? Like no, in, in a way any, that... Anything that is the evil of this world, including the, including the ending of lives of other innocents, is not part of his plan. Okay. And so that's a deviation is in some way. That, is that where yes. people sort of go against his, his goals, his plan? I wouldn't say... I wouldn't say go against his goal. I would say he, th those people that commit those crimes, get tempted by the dark lord. Ah, so it's 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 Satan intervening. Yes, it's yeah. them getting tempted by Satan. Fair enough. Fair enough. That makes sense. Okay, we're gonna mix it up again a little bit. Go to a few different things here. Uh, do would you say you'd have any political opinions on? on things that were influenced in some way by your religion or that you hold through your religious beliefs? Uh, no, I tend to be rather anti-political. I try and avoid the political system. It's yeah. just too confusing for me. Yeah. No, that's, that makes sense. That's fair enough. I mean, I can definitely relate to that as a, as a former J-Dub. That's what we were like as well. So would you reckon that, like... What what would what were you ugh, fuck drink on me there? I totally <laughs> were. Mm. Okay, what are your thoughts on the LBGTQ? I totally forgot the letters there, and I apologise there. And like, let's say the uh, gay marriage, for example. What are what are your opinions there? Gay marriage is definitely unholy, definitely against will of God, and. <laughs> Don't worry, nobody can get through this one. <laughs> Seriously. Broke. Yep, nobody can get through that one. <laughs> I've seen every single uh of of Grey Skeptics um uh atheist flashbacks and unless I'm forgetting someone, nobody got through that one. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the hot seat, mate. You're in the hot seat. Ah, oh, shit. I, so, I, I contained myself for the last one about you, but that one just, nope. <laughs> yep. I mean, if you don't want to answer at all, but it'd be interesting to find out what your views were then. And we all know that this is not what you currently think. 
just so everybody's clear. That's so. What 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 are your uh, views on a gay couple, for example? It's definitely unnatural. I really don't like 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 it, and shouldn't really be there. You can't hold it in. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let's let's take you to church, for example. Let's say we're going to, you know, I don't know if it's called a sermon or what, whatever. Mm-hmm. We're going to go in, have a good time, and two gay men, married gay men, walk in. Nobody has to ask. We all know. There's no question. What would uh, your church... Res- how would your church respond if they became... Or tried to become regular patrons of your church? Uh, we would ask them to kindly leave, but not in a manner that asks them. We don't believe... We we don't believe in having all eyes on a specific person. We okay, so you're not you're not going to make a big deal of it, but you'd be like, "Hey, you guys got to leave." Yeah, exactly. We we just try and take things away from the public and just ex, ex, explain things. And yeah. Okay. No, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Come on, man. You're going to have to hold it together. Okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. All right. Okay, so we've we've touched on that. What about trans rights? Let's say somebody who is obviously a transhuman, and I say human because it could be trans male, female, whichever you take your fancy, it's... It's all up for grabs for this one. God, that was a really bad phrase to use. I apologize for that. It didn't. I didn't say that meaning anything. Uh, in the you know, in the sense that you can you can take your pick on that. Where if somebody comes in, I mean, yeah, shit, you could be a cross dresser for all I care. I mean, and not, a lot of the community aren't exactly uh, fond of those when they're like straight. Men being theatre cross dressers, um, for example, but any of the above walk in. Are they going to be treated the same? Is there any equal rights for these people? We 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 respect their rights to live as they desire. However, this is a church which has their beliefs. And we would treat them the same way as the openly gay couple. We would take them aside to where nothing was wrong so that people didn't believe anything was wrong. And then we'd talk to them out of ear sight, out of hearing sight, out of eyesight, and just explain things, calm, things calmly. Okay. They have, no, they have a right to deliver however they want, but we've got a that's certain fair enough. code in the church. That's fair enough. I mean, it's basically treating them the same as you would anyone else that you don't want a part of your private group, mm. let's say. Fair enough. Um, this one is a little less uh, relevant for us because I know we're both Aussies. So once you, once I out you, you'll know. Yeah, you know. But I have to ask yeah. anyway because I like to cover all my bases. What is your official or just personal opinion of the death penalty? You know, my mother had a uh, saying for this. An eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. That's a pretty good saying. I mean, <laughs> it's not wrong. I don't, no, I don't I, believe... I, sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, I t- yeah, I take it that that's a, 
a no on the death penalty. <laughs> Definitely no. We don't we don't believe in another human being casting judgment down onto another human being and sentencing them to death. We we only believe that Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and God, our Heavenly Father, have that has that authority. Very cool. Very cool. That that's a good answer, especially given that you're Australian. If you'd said anything else, I would have been really, really worried. <laughs> but um, okay, no, that's cool. So, last one: What is your opinion on women's rights and things like abortion? I don't have a personal opinion on that one. What would be the official opinion? As to abortion, I have not asked, mainly because I'm a youth pastor in a age period that is only just starting to get into that sort of yeah, talk. Probably, yeah, um, I get you. But as for women's rights, I do believe Crank. Whoa, whoa. We lost. I think we lost the Osman there for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was, but you just went all, all types of funky. I think, I think the Holy Spirit is coming through you. Are you turning into a, what is it, a, a Baptist or a Pentecostal when they speak in tongues? Drink, 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 drink. Yeah. <laughs> Well, God damn, son. I'll drink for that, too, because I did also break character, I think. We're almost there, bro. We're almost there. Come on. I... I... I believe that women should be subservient to the men. That's it. And, and that they should honor their husbands and their fathers and their family. As they honored Jesus... As they honored Jesus and our Heavenly yep. Father. All right. Well, I know this has been very tough for you, my dude, but this is uh, the end of our little game show. However, I still have a few questions for you now that you can be yourself again. Oh, so thank Christ. Oh, fuck. Have a drink. <laughs> do what you got to do. How do you feel? Tell us just what do you feel? My stomach is sore. <laughs> yeah. Gets you tense, doesn't it? Oh. Doesn't I feel don't. good. It's like, I, oh, damn. I, I either gained a six pack from all of the laughter I had to hold it and sometimes <laughs> failed to hold it. <laughs> yeah. Or ju nice. just gained a new lung capacity. That's the fucking fun of the game. I nearly lost it when you asked me to convert and try to convert you. I was just, yeah. I couldn't answer that. Yeah. I know. I realized I shouldn't have said specifically <laughs> me in that one, but whatever. Oh. It was fun. I do have a few more questions, though, like if, if you can <sighs> indulge me. Sure. Just quickly, because I, I mean, you might have mentioned it, but how long ago did you lose your religion? Uh, uh, around um, late August, I believe, in twenty in two thousand ten. Okay, so for us, about ten years. Fair enough. Yes, about ten years. Yep. Um, what uh, political views have changed since then? Um, I am very much anti-political still but more so close to either, if this is such a thing, toxic or, which I know is a thing, radical, uh, anti-political. Um, okay. Well, what about political issues that we were talking about before? L LBGT, women's rights? I believe they all have the same rights as any other heterosexual couple. Yeah. I mean, it's just always good to, to run through it 
just in case people didn't realize that it was bullshit before, like <laughs> the the stuff that you used to be, not who you are now. It's always yeah. good to be like, how is that? You know, how have you changed since then? Sort of. Yeah. Well, um, I've ch- I've changed in a lot of ways, and the fact that I am openly partially gay now. Um, and I say partially because I'm demisexual, so I'm more on the bisexual side or pansexual. Uh, closest with the pansexual. I'm demisexual, so I think about the minds. Oh, demi or sapiosexual. I, I, I get terms confused, but I'm more about the intellectual communication rather than the gender. So you could be a trans, you can be male, you could be female. doesn't matter. If you have a good mind on you, I want you. Oh, if only you uh, lived in, I think it's Pennsylvania. God, no. Oh, geez. Oh, I can't remember exactly. And I'm sorry, sweetie, Diana, but I can't remember exactly where you live now. My brain. But anyway, if if only you lived around there, because I tell you what, I, I, I am on the prowl for somebody to hook up with Diana. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's another story. <laughs> um, yeah, so but no, I, back, the trans back people, non binary, yeah, trans people, non binary people, every single person, regardless of who you are, what you are, why you are, and where you are, you are all equal. Doesn't yeah. matter what, no exceptions. You are yeah. equal. That's awesome, man. That really is cool. So, um, did at any point after you left, did you end up going into any other beliefs at all after then? Before, even now, like, aside from more, I became atheist. That's, that doesn't count. <laughs> um, a, a few other religions, um, but I wouldn't say went into them in the same veracity as I went into Christianity. Um, yeah. Buddhism tried a little Hinduism, didn't really f- sit well with me. Um, I read a pas- passage or two with uh islam um didn't really attend their services or anything like that um i did have a look at the catholicism um i was definitely almost the same veracity pagan and in fact i still need to change that because in my my medical file note it says pagan but yeah, I I've done a few religions. I've had a look at them, but not in the same veracity. Only one really stood out with me. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, God, I've lost myself again. Oh, okay, here's a good one. Um, looking back on who you were, do you have any regrets about who you are, who you were, or what you did? Absolutely. Your the views or whatever. Yeah. Yes. In fact, if I was to meet my younger self, I'd say, you're a dick. <laughs> Just straight up, you're a dick. Well, look, man, that rolls right into my next question. It is What would you tell your old self, if you could, to help you kick the religion sooner or avoid it completely? Um, I'd just say, Jen, mate, look at that person. Look at that male. <laughs> Do you know what they're going through right now? Look at that female with a child who looks probably only double her age. Do you know what they're going through right now? Do you believe that those people have different rights? If you believe that, you're a dick. Here's a book. Please read it. I'd hand them a up-to-date book on uh, sociology and everything like that. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I just straight up call him Dick. I just say, "Wait, you're Dick." Here's why. Here's why. Throw a bit of knowledge at him. Truth bombs. <laughs> yeah. That's really cool, man. All right. Well, you have made it through the entire show, my dude, Osman. Yeah. You, su- you survived. <laughs> A little bit more sore for it. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, I'll tell you what. Thanks, man, for joining me. Do you want to tell everybody again who you are, what you do? Like, give them a bit more detail about how to find you. And uh, and then I'll end the show. 
No worries. I am Osman Cometh. I am a gamer. I'm over at youtube.com forward slash Osman Cometh. If my link is all right. Uh, I do gaming and I am an aspiring coder. Um, I also build Dungeons and Dragons maps, uh, dungeons and quests and things like that, mainly specifically for fifth edition. I'm learning the 3.5 edition. Bang on, brother. Awesome source. All right. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining me. Big breath. That was a strangely large breath, actually. Um, <laughs> so uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you're new. Share the show out if you liked it. Go down to the uh, description. Should be a link for Osman. Go and check him out on YouTube. And, you know, I'm sure he's got his links everywhere, too. So check him out on Twitter and all that. Uh, and thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful uh, day, week. I don't know how frequently I'm going to actually upload these yet, but enjoy yourself. Stay safe. Stay clean. See you, everyone. This stuff. Oh, wow. Gotcha. Is this your Teespring store? Yeah, I just threw some simple, silly designs together quick. It's nothing special, just some funny, overpriced things on Nacho's Underworld Market. Oh, look at this. This is super cool. You can get a hoodie and many other stylish shirts. Not just shirts, but some great yaoi design stretch pants, too. And who wouldn't like an awesome coffee mug? Or an angry Nacho throw pillow for your couch. Everyone wants one of those. Payment online is the best way to pay you. Well, heck, Jen, thanks. Here's all your awesome Nacho merch. <sighs> Check out Nacho's Underworld Market on Teespring today. I believe in ja, I believe in ja. Come on, everybody. Right.